For the gift of life, you have heard to breathe. It's not your doing, it's the Lord's doing. Open your mouth and thank Him. Psalm 118, verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good and His message and joy for it. Just give Him thanks. The air you breathe in everything, give Him thanks. As we are alive today, many people trust me, they did not wake up with us. It's not like we're special, it's not like we're better than them. It's the Lord's doing. It pleases him to keep us alive. The air you're breathing, it's a gift. Open your mouth and begin to worship your maker. Open your mouth and begin to worship him. Lord, I thank you for this earth. This earth I bring the world, Lord. I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you honor and adoration. There is none like you, Lord. Lord, we don't take this for granted, Lord. Lord, we thank you, God, for this opportunity, Lord. Lord, we lift your name on high. Above every other name, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Is that how best you can thank your God? Is that how best you can appreciate him? Uh, there are many people right now that have to pay for air uh, that they breathe in. But here we are breathing freely. Even in the pandemic, we are breathing freely. This is us without us. We don't have any reason to rush our, our family to the hospital. We are here, hale and hearty. So you have reasons upon reasons to thank your maker. Let's thank this God. In Jesus' name, we've worshipped and prayed. We are going to pray to God for our church. John 13, 15 says, I gave you an example that you also should do as I did to you. So let's pray and ask God to make us Christians that we love other people with all of our hearts, like Christ did. Let's ask God, Lord, help me to, to, have, an, to have a selfless attitude towards others. We are going to pray that the spirit we need, the grace we need to act like Christ, that should be given unto us, should be released upon us right now. We want to live like Christ. We are truly Christians, right? So we have to live like Christ. To have the right attitude towards people. To love people selflessly. Let's begin to pray to God. Let's pray that the love will be found and felt amongst us here in the church. And to be extended outside as well. Let's begin to pray. It's not easy to love. It's not easy to love. But we are Christians and that's why we're different. We're unique. We're going to love Christ. We're going to love people the way Christ expects us to. You're going to ask God, God, help me to be an ambassador for you. You're on earth. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me to do your will. Help me to know your will. Help me to get, Lord, teach me to love selflessly. Help me, oh God. We can do better. We are going to pray to God right now. The Lord, help the church to be a true city, placed on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. Let Lord, help the church to be, oh God, a true city, placed on a top that cannot be hidden. Let our light shine in this church, oh God. Let your presence be felt in this church. Let your presence be felt in this church, oh God. Baba, let your presence be felt like no other in this church, oh God. Baba, let there be testimony upon testimony, oh God. Take us from glory to glory, oh God. Baba, take us to higher ground, oh God. But I want to also do all pray for the church. We may be small, but we want to feel God mightily in this place. We can do better. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. We are going to pray that as a church, Lord, help this family altar to continue to burn and never go out. Let the fire of God continue to burn and never go out. As a family, oh God, we are a family, oh God. Baba, increase us, oh God. Let this fire continue to burn, Baba. Open your mouth and pray, oh God. Lord, I pray that this fire, oh God, will not run out, oh God. Baba, I pray that you will lead us alright, oh God. Baba, it will be unquenchable, oh God. Baba, let the fire continue to burn, oh God. Baba, let it continue to burn. You can do better. 
We are praying for the church. We are praying for the spirit of, the, of God to be felt in this church. In Jesus' name we've prayed. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray according to Psalm 33. But you, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory, the one who lifts my head high. We are going to pray for divine lifting. For the church, for you, for your loved ones. We are going to pray that the Lord will lift us up. He will lift our head up. He will give us uncommon favor. He will give us supernatural blessing, oh God. From zero to hero, he will make us. Let us begin to pray, Lord. In Jesus' name we've prayed. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray that Lord endow me with the power to maximize my potentials in the name of Jesus. We will not, we will not go back to the ground the same way we are born. Every potential in you, God will help you to discover them. He will help us to discover them. And not only discover them, he will help us to maximize them to the fullest. We will not go empty. We will not go like that. We will use everything. We will actualize them. We will, we, will, we will use them to the fullest. Let's begin to pray. Lord, every gift, every potential in your Baba, let them begin to manifest to your glory. Realize them, O God. Help me discover them, realize them, O God, and maximize them to the fullest, O God. In the name of Jesus, O God. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray for our spiritual heads. We need them. We need to continue to pray for them. Of course, we know the devil is not playing. He's not playing. So we're going to pray for them. We're going to pray. That Lord, we pray, we, we come against every power of darkness against the church, against our spiritual heads of God. Baba, I pray that the fire of God will continue to run about them in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for our spiritual head that the fire of God will continue to run about them and they'll be untouchable, oh God. Nothing, oh God, shall penetrate them, oh God. The mark of God will be upon them, oh God, and we stand them out in the name of Jesus. They are for signs and wonders, oh God. The fire of God will continue to burn upon the altar, upon their lives, oh God. That nothing will cut short their, 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 their glory. Nothing will cut short them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray for, their, for our spiritual heads. The devil will not seize these ones. We will not see their family, oh God. Baba, we pray, oh God, that you continue to lift them, oh God. Baba, you continue to lift them, oh God. Baba, you begin to expand them, oh God. Continue to expand them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Papa, we pray, oh God, that you shield them from the attacks of the enemy, oh God. Papa, these ones, oh God, that are for signs and wonders to go. Papa, we declare them untouchable, oh God. We declare them untouchable, oh God. We declare them untouchable, oh God. Your mark of God is upon them, oh God. So stand them out, oh God. No evil eyes shall penetrate them, oh God. Papa, the fire of God is round about them, oh God. Papa, I pray, oh God, that you do greater works through them, oh God. Papa, you do greater works through them, oh God. Papa, we will not lose this one to the, to the hands of the devil, oh God. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, lastly, we are going to commit today activities, today service to the hands of God. That let God move like never before. That let God move like never before. The vessel is going to use. That let God speak through the vessel. In the name of Jesus. That let God speak through the vessel. And let every soul present be blessed to God. And our blessings will never elude us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray for today's service.
Take this stage, Lord, and have your way. We're just a vessel and not more. When you're done, please take the glory. We're satisfied just to see you glorified. Take this stage, Lord, and have your way. We're just a vessel and not in more. And when you're done, please take the glory. We satisfy just to see you glorified. One more time. Take the stage, Lord. So, Lord, we declare this service open in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit, O oh God. Amen. Baba, let your presence be felt like no other time in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayers. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time for praise and worship. Psalm 92 verse 1 says, It's good to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises to the God who is above all God. So let us bring out our dancing shoe because it's time to give praises unto him. Praise the Lord. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy is never come to an end.
Jehovah, 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 is going on today. Yeah, who can tell me? He's going to be getting gauges today. Yes, because it's women's thing. You know, we make things happen. Today is our day. We'll be lifted for his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. So we have our special number from our dear sister, Sister Victoria. Can you please come and give your special number? She's just going to be leading us in a hymn. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This morning, we just want to give God thanks mm -hmm. and honor and glory for all he has done for us and what he's doing for us and what he's about to do for us. I'm going to sing Love Lifted Me because through it all, when we fall, it's God who lifts us up. Amen. Hallelujah. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking rise no more but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me now safe Praises sing 
love so mighty and so true and her merits my soul's best songs faithful love in service to him be long and love lived in me even me love lived in me even me when nothing else could help love lived in me hallelujah love lived in me and love lived in me and when nothing else could I am the God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for me to do. Tell my people I will lift them up to show forth my glory, my glory, my glory. I am the Lord that changed its law.
body to be sitting before I go in. Yeah? So that they can admire my beautiful Gucci dress. I know I'm dressed to keep today not today. Ah ah. Oh, they receive fire today. I'm dripping. Ah, I want everybody to be seated before I go in, so they can see this my Gucci dress. Ah ah. <laughs> One picking nine degrees. I'm auto fine. <laughs> I am dressed to kill today. My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 8. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Praise the Lord. Brethren, yours may not fall into any of the category that we have acted here. We have acted the one that is just going to church just for show up. We have acted the one that has gone to church late just because he doesn't want the follow-up group to call her after the church service and say, why are you not in church? Like I said, yours may not be any of this. Yours could, could be any, or any distraction whatsoever. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1. You are going to turn your Bible with me as we read the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 1. And I read, it says, Guard your steps when you go to the house of God. Go near to listen rather than to offer the sacrifice of fools who do not know that they do wrong. You are also going to turn your Bible with me into the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. And this Bible verse passage talks about little sins that beset. Little sins that beset us. Gossiping. How much of gossiping do we come to church to do? When the Bible admonished us to raise up holy hands and worship him in truth and in spirit. But what do we see instead? Gossiping, oh, that sister, oh, that brother, little sins 
that besets. Little stealers of our lifting, the stealers of our joy, the stealers of our answered prayers. Or is it the spirit of offense? Oh, someone stepped on my toe yesterday in church, and because of that, I'm not coming. Oh, the pastor winked at me somehow. Evidently, oh, the pastor was talking about me when he was preaching. Little sins that beset, little sins that steals our lifting. The book of Revelations, chapter 22, verse 12. Revelations 22, verse 12. I read, it says, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I'm guilty. You are guilty too. And that is why we want to quickly rise up on our feet, even as we call on the God of mercy, that Father, of those little sins that beset, Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, this weekend has been described as the week that God is lifting us up for his glory. Every little sin in me that will not make me to experience your glory. Father, this morning we ask, O oh Lord, for mercy. Father, have mercy upon us. Are you praying? Please pray, pray, pray. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you. Praise the Lord. That is too cold. Praise the Lord. Yeah, this morning we want to take her, praising our God to a different level. You know that anytime we come on Sundays like this, we, are, we try to be, you know, let's just take it this particular way. But this morning, we want to take our praises to a new dimension of diversity. Our God answers all language. He, he, he understands all languages. That is how big our God is. So we want to sing this morning in different dialects. You are going to join us. We are going to praise God together. The Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. And I pray that as we praise him, as we worship him together, he will inhabit our praises and he will come down to bless us. Listen and be blessed. Praise the living Jesus. Yeah. Nibo Quenu. Hey. Ibo Quenu. Hey. Ibo Quenu. Hey. Ibo Quenu. Hey. Aka Mara Makai Gakoro Chinde Kemo. Aka Mara Aka Mara Makai Gakoro Chinde Kemo. Aka Mara Aka mara makai ga koro chine ke mo Aka to wara ya ka mara ma Aka to wara ya ka mara ma
Praise the Lord. Amen. That was amazing. Amen. Despite our impromptu, <laughs> God still glorified himself. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to greet everyone. Good morning. In case I've not uh, had a chance to say good morning to you, the family, I want to welcome everyone on site and everyone online to the third um, annual women's program for Amazing Grace Chapel. Amen. Last year, we were supposed to have a program, but because of the pandemic, but we thank God that we are alive. Pray, jam your hands together, and thank God that you, as a person, you are alive, even to witness this year. Amen. I pray that Almighty God will bless us mightily in the name of Jesus. This is the third day. We had the first day on Friday with prayer. We started with prayer. But there's a song that says, Jesus started with prayer and ended. So we started with prayer because we know without God, we are nothing. So we started, and yesterday we had a hangout. Praise the Lord. You know, most, most of the times, women, we don't have uh, uh, time out. We are always juggling from maybe cooking, doing chores. And you now find sometimes that we will now look older than our husband, which is not so. But because of all those all those things but we said okay a day we want to cheat ourselves and just leave the husband and the children that okay you guys will, you'll be fine let's let's enjoy one life to live <laughs> and uh, the pastor said they were fine we too we had we, we had we had fun yesterday praise the lord so today is the third day in the grand finale i'll quickly i want us to open to Hosea 6 2. Hosea 6 2. Uh, technica can you project it as well Hosea 6 2. Hosea 6 2. After two days, we leave revivals. In the third day, 
he will raise us up and we shall live in the sight. This is the third day of the program and even the third year. And no, coincidentally, our team says, lifted for his glory. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, we will experience lifting in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. This third day of the program and the third year of this program, we will experience lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. To bring us the message from God's throne is an anointed woman of God, a loving woman, a very friendly, very respectful woman of God. And I want you to jam your hands and celebrate God in the life of our mommy, Pastor Mrs. Tony Badamosi, to give us the word of God. You're welcome. From the One Dollar Church, amen, that God did miracle, amen. Amen, thank you so much. Please, can I have the drummers? There's a song that says, Verily, 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 the Lord said to me, Verily, 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 the Lord said to me, I shall be great, I shall be lifted, it shall swell me. Amen. Amen. Tonight, I know that we all know the song. We are going to sing it three times. The first one, you will go to your friends, your family, familiar faces. I know in church, we have familiar faces and we also have the other face. So you will now go to those, those one first. And then you will go to the unfamiliar faces. You know them. Those that you just wait from far. Or you don't even have time to even say hi to them on a Sunday. You will go to them and prophesy into their lives. And then the third one, you will prophesy to yourself. Are we ready? One, two, go. Verily, 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 the Lord said to me.
the name of the Lord. Brother, lift up the lifter up of our heads. Let us worship and adore him. Let us give him all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Our God deserves to be praised. He deserves to be worshipped. He deserves to be adored. There is none like unto our God. There is none to be compared with him. There is none to be likened unto him. From generation to generation, from generation to another generation, he is God. He changed not. His counsel remains the same. Has he spoken and has it not come to pass? Jehovah Lord, we worship you this morning. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Father, we lift up your name, O oh God, like a banner in the sky. We lift up your name, Jehovah. We lift up your name, O oh God. Daddy, we bless your holy name. There is none like you, O oh God. You are the lifter up of our heads, O oh God. Daddy, O oh Lord, beside you, O oh Lord, there is none. Daddy, we bless your name, O oh God. We give you all the praise, all the glory for all that you have been to us, for all that you have done, for who you are, for the year 2020. Daddy, we say thank you for that glorious year, the year of victors. Daddy, we thank you, Lord, for seeing us through 2020. Daddy, we give you all the praise. We thank you for your hand that brought us to 2021. Oh, Jehovah, we lift up your name. Who is like you, O oh God? Among all the gods, fearful in praises, glorious in holiness, always doing wonders, beautiful for all situations. Jehovah, there is none like you. Thank you, only one of Israel. We give you all the praise, Lord. I want us to begin to thank the Almighty God. On behalf of all the women in this church, let us say, Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you for all the women that you have given to Amazing Grace Chapel. Daddy, we thank you, oh Lord, for beautifying their lives. Sir. We thank you for the gift of life. Daddy, we thank you for salvation of souls. Sir. We thank you for your resources in their lives. Sir. The women in this house are not empty. They are loaded. There are women, oh God, that are carrying treasures. Daddy, we thank you, oh Lord, for everyone that have mounted this podium today. Daddy, they have spoken, oh Lord, expressly from you, oh God. Jehovah, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, oh God, for Christ in us, the hope of glory. Daddy, we thank you for everyone in this church. Thank you, only one of Israel, for the pastor, the pastor, the sister, their families, oh God, all the men, the women, the children, the teenagers, the elders, and even the youth of this church. Daddy, we thank you for keeping us alive and well. Glory and honor to your name. Daddy, we bless your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. I want us to pray for the women. I want us to pray for women. And when we are praying for women, Men cannot be quiet because you are praying for your wife, your mother, your sister, your loved ones. The Bible says in the book of Ruth chapter 1 verse 9, Ruth 1 verse 9, The Lord grant you that ye may find rest, even, sorry, each of you in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them and they lifted up their voice and wept. We want to pray for women that they will find rest. Not only those that are married. In every way you find yourself that God will give us rest. This is the seventh month. You all know that this world, right now we are going through a lot. And people are failing. Their faith are failing. People are restless. But there is rest in God. Somebody said there is rest in God. I want us to lift up our voices and begin to call on God this morning and say, Father, Lord, we pray for all the women in the house and those that are watching us online, oh God, that he grants them rest, oh God. The Bible says that the seventh mother, that the ark rested, that the Lord, this is the seventh month, oh God. We receive rest for all the women in amazing grace in the name of Jesus. Rest in their husbands' homes, rest in their houses, rest in their health, rest over their children, 
Rest over their parents. Rest over their jobs. Rest over their health. Rest over their finances. Jehovah Lord will receive rest, O oh God. We receive rest, O oh God, this morning. Daddy, we receive the rest, O oh God of God. We receive the peace of God, the joy of God for all the women in the house. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, you are the only one that can give rest, O oh God. Jehovah, Lord, even at a time like this, O oh God, let your rest be our portion. Thank you, only one of Israel. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We have two more prayers. We want to pray for the church, everyone, the men, the women. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.23, 1 Thessalonians 5.23, and the, and the very God of peace sanctify you only. I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are praying for our spirit, our soul, and our body at a time like this, that the Lord will preserve. I heard the Sunday school was talking about eternal life, where we will last. Not here that we have time, but we are talking about where we will spend eternity. Brethren, I want us to pray this morning that, oh my Father, you are praying for yourself now. Oh my Father, my God, preserve me blameless, oh God, that it will be and, oh God, till I see Christ in glory, that he preserve my body, preserve my soul, preserve my spirit, oh Lord, blameless, oh Lord, spotless, oh God, without wrinkle, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, Lord, preserve us, oh Lord. That he preserve us as we go through the journey of life, oh God. That as we go through the journey here on earth, we desire that you preserve our spirits, our souls, and our bodies, oh God. That we will make it back home, oh Lord. We will make it home, Lord. We will reach our goal. We will finish well and we will finish stronger. Thank you, King of Glory. There is no greater lifted, lift, lift, lifting than that, brethren. There is no greater lifting than making it to the end. Uh, that everyone be lifted and be, and be celebrating with the King of Glory. That is so we pray this morning, Lord, that you preserve our spirit, our souls, and our bodies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Finally, we want to pray for the pastor and the pastor missus and their families. I love the scriptures in the book of Psalm 90. 16 and 17. Psalm 90, 16 and 17. He says, let thy work appear unto thy servants, that thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. And establish thou the work of their hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou. I know you love them. I want you to pray for them the way you pray for yourself. That the almighty God will establish them. That this work will prosper in their hands. Let us begin to pray. We are praying for them. We are praying for their families. That Father Lord will lift up your son, oh God. That you and your daughter that you have placed here, Lord, as your representative. Jehovah Lord, we pray that you help them, Lord. That you establish them, Lord. Establish the works of their hands, Lord. Let this work prosper in their hands in the name of Jesus. That let your work appear before them, O oh Lord. Let your glory be seen in their lives, O oh God. My Father and my God, I pray, everything that they need for this work, uh, that is sent to them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we receive greater power, O oh Lord. That is greater grace, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, we pray that you will establish their goings. Uh, you will establish this work in their hands. Uh, they they will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not turn their back. They will not be weary. Oh Lord, they will not be wounded in the journey of life, oh God. Their raiment will not be taken away from them in the mighty name of Jesus. And they will not be left half dead. Oh Mashata Yadaba. Oh Lord, their children, their families will not be wounded. In the name of Jesus, they will finish well and they will finish stronger. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you. Daddy, there is none like you, O oh God. There is none like you, O oh God. There is none like you, O oh God. You are the God that rules and reigns over the affairs of men. Daddy, you are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. The one that knows the ending from the beginning. And you also know the beginning even from the end. Nothing escapes you, Lord. Today, O oh Lord, we say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for thus far you have helped us. Celebrating another year, O oh God. The last year was during pandemic. And this year you have kept us, Lord. Daddy, we are grateful. We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Daddy, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. It is time for your word, Lord. Daddy, the Bible says you have exalted your word more than your name. This morning, oh God, send us your word. Amen. Let everyone hear in their own language. Let everyone hear, oh Lord, in the language that you have given to them. Amen. Let there be understanding. Amen. Let there be revelation. Amen. Daddy, let the word profit, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open our hearts, Lord. Open our eyes. Open our ears, oh Lord. Holy Spirit of God, do what you know how to do best. And let everyone be blessed, including the speaker and the hearer. Let us all be blessed to the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout glory to God. Amen. We can have our seats. I want to thank the almighty God for bringing us here today. And I also want to thank my pastor. Thank you very much, sir. And my pastor, Mrs. God bless you, ma. The Lord keep you. The Lord continue to strengthen you. And the work will continue to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I also bring greetings from RCCG Goshen Parish and from the pastor. We have been praying for this program. And I know that the blessings will, has been coming and more will come in Jesus' name. Amen. Women are very beautiful. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The pastor said yes. I heard pastors yes first. Women are very beautiful. When you go to a house that there is no woman in that house, you can easily tell. Am I right? You enter a house and the mummy of the house, I mean, there is no woman there. There are some paintings that you see that instead of standing upright, they will be like this. The other way around. So you will see color riots. And you say, ah, where are the people that are supposed to be in this house? But when you go to a house that there is a woman, ah, you can tell. You can tell. If you come to my house, but I'm not home. Sorry, you're on your own. If a pastor will offer you water, I used to say it in church. No, it's not something I'm saying behind him. If for him to offer you water, I mean, you will have been there for a while. But if I'm home, you know what it is. We bless God for all the women. Clap for yourselves as a woman. Please put your hands together for yourself. I'm always proud that God created me as a woman. I'm never, I've never complained that why. It's too much. I know we do a lot. We, may, we do a lot. But guess what? God knows that we have it in us. And that is why he has put us where we are. I congratulate you once again. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. By his grace, you see many more years in Jesus' name. I greet everyone in the church too. Beautiful faces. God bless you all. Amen. Let us go into the word. Psalm, 9, sorry, Psalm 40 verse 1 to 3. The message, the title for the message is lifted for glory, for his glory, lifted for his glory. I want to take my text from Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3. And I also jump to Psalm 3, verse 3. Psalm 20, Psalm 40, 1 to 3. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the merry clay. And set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. He had put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the name of the Lord. That will be your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, that will be my testimony. What the Lord will do for you this new year. That all men will see. 
and they will give glory to the Lord is on your way. That fear will catch them. I will say, ah, this must be God. Get ready for it because it's on your way in the mighty name of Jesus. The second text is from Psalm 3 verse 3. Psalm 3 verse 3 says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. My glory and the lifter up. Brethren, there is only one person that can lift up. And I'm glad we are here today to meet him. And the person is God. I don't want to go into much definition, but I just want to tell you that to be lifted is to be raised to a higher position or level. To be picked up and moved to a different position. It is also to experience a change, a transformation. So we can say to be lifted is just experiencing a change. You can't be lifted and be in the same spot. No, it's not possible. When you are lifted, your location may change. Your position will change. And we all experience that in Jesus' name. The Bible says, I love scriptures, please. I love scriptures a lot. But the word of God is true. 2 Corinthians 3.18. 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, But we all with open face, behold, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord are being changed. For us to be lifted, there must be a change. What is glory? We all know glory. It is the beauty and the splendor of our living God, of the almighty God, his majesty. The works of his hands declare his glory. The Bible says that heavens declare the glory of the Lord. Everything that we see beautiful declares the glory of our God. Isaiah 43, verse 7. Isaiah 43, 7 says, Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yet I have made him. We are made, created, formed for his glory. So you see the reason why we, uh, we cannot afford to be lifted. We cannot. It, uh, it must come to pass because we have been created for the glory of God. Everything that God has given to us is to give glory to him. We see many people, the Lord blesses them and they keep it to themselves. The Lord gives them things and they don't even have understanding of it. But for us, everything that God has given to us is to give glory to God. He gave, the, even our children, he gave them to us so that they may give glory to him. And I pray that that will be your portion in Jesus' name. Quickly this morning, because I, I'm, I'm on that time, I love to ask for time. My pastor has given me time, so I'm watching my time. Can I, okay, I think I remember. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Understanding what it is to be lifted for his glory, you need to have understanding. There's a place we are going, but let me just give you this. I was on the prayer line on Friday, and it was very, very powerful. How many people were on the prayer line? Let me see your hand as a woman on Friday. Oh, beautiful. God bless you. I was there too. And Pastor Mrs. did a very good job. I mean, from Nigeria, she led us powerfully. So I don't want to repeat some of the things that she mentioned. The first thing I want to say about, I want to talk about us having understanding, knowing it. Not in dictionary or what else. Let us see lives that have experienced this. We all know the story of Esther. She mentioned it too. From being a slave girl, to becoming a queen. Brethren, it takes the lifting of the almighty God. Esther 2.17 says, And the king loved Esther above all women, and she obtained grace and favor in, the sight, in his sight more than all the virgins, and so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vasti. Brethren, that is glory, to be lifted. The next person I want to talk about is in the second Kings, the book of Second Kings 4.7. 2 Kings 4, 7, we remember the widow that the creditors came and they were asking for our two sons. Can you imagine? You have come to ask for your money and what you want to take from that woman is our two sons. I pray that any power that wants to take your children, the almighty God will disappoint them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And any power that wants to touch your children, our children will not pay for what they did not buy. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. They looked around and what they wanted was the children. But you remember the story. The man of God said, what do you have? He said, oil. He said, okay, that's fine. Go and get pots. Get a lot. And we, and we all know the end of the story. Verse 7 says, and she came and told the man of God and he said, go, sell the oil and pay the debt and leave thou and thy children of the rest. Brethren, if it is not, if there, if there is nothing like rest, I mean, left over, do you think the man of God will say that? No. Because the woman, after paying, she had a lot, a lot. She became a merchant. I pray that the almighty God will lift us up out of debt in the name of Jesus. The Lord will surprise us in the mighty name of Jesus. The lame man at the beautiful gate. We know the story too. The Bible even said that he was born lame. So he has been there for long. But one day, Peter was passing, John and Peter. They were going to the temple. The Bible says in verse 7, and he took him by his right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength to be lifted, brethren. He has been there for long, but one day he received a lifting. I pray that somebody will receive a lifting today. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever has held you down for years, today as the Lord lives, you will be lifted for his glory in the name of Jesus. The paralytic man by the pool of Bethesda for 38 good years. We will not know it in Jesus' name. For somebody to be on the same spot for 38 years. And this man's problem was he had nobody. Ah, I was telling them in the church some weeks ago that it is possible for one to be here on earth and has nobody, man. No helper. Nobody to help. God forbid, some of us, if we need 5,000 today, we have about five people that we can call. And they will say, send me your bank account. Because they know you are, you are good, you are heavy. But you know that there are some people, they, can't, they don't have anybody that can give them $500. Heaven and earth. Nobody to give them, to loan them $500. This man had nobody. He told Jesus, when Jesus got to him, and asked him. The man said, I have nobody. Let me read it to you. For some of us, we don't read the Bible anymore. John 5, 7 to 8 says, And the impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I'm coming, another step step down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, pick up your bed and walk. Pick up your, rise, pick up your bed and walk. Brethren, that is what God does. That is our God for you. That if you have no help, you are helpless, there is a God that is for you. Jehovah will lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus. The next one, which is Ruth, and that is where we are going to dwell. That is our case study for today. The Ruth, the word Ruth. As Pastor Mrs. called me and gave me the assignment, the Lord dropped the word. The only thing he dropped in my heart was Ruth. And I've been teaching my children's Sunday school for some weeks on Ruth. After she called me, the next topic that we started was Ruth. And we took that for four weeks. So I was about to change from it. And that. Let me do something. And God said, no, Ruth. So we are going to dwell on Ruth for a while. Ruth is a very, very good story. I want to encourage us to please go back. It's just four chapters. Let us read the book of Ruth. I'll read from here. Ruth chapter 1, 16 to 18. Ruth 1, 16 to 18. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Where thou diest, I will die. And where, and where will, sorry, and there will I be buried. And the Lord do so to me. And more also, if aught but death part thee and me. When she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her, then she left speaking unto her. Brethren, the story of Ruth, we all know, but I just want to have a short recap. A woman called Naomi and her husband, Elimelech, they left Bethlehem and they went to Moab. And they were there, the husband died. They went with their two children. The husband died, 
the two children also died. And these two boys married Opa and Ruth. Now, nothing to hope for. Husband, dead. Children, dead. Why, why, am, I, why am I here? Let me go back home. I don't have anyone, but I have families back home. So she now decided to go back home. That is Naomi. And the two daughters-in-law said, we will go with you. Then the woman said, no, don't go with me. The way you are looking at me, do I look like someone that can get married and have another child? No. Go back to your family. You are from this land. You are from Moab. So go back home. Opa said, okay. She turned back. And Ruth said, I'm not leaving you. Wherever you go, I will go. We are together. And she followed her mother-in-law. A young lady. Following an old woman to a destination, to a place where she has never been before. When I was taking my children in children's department, I asked them, I said, how many of you wants to go to a land or a country by yourself where you have never been before? Your parents, no relative, no nothing. How many of you wants to go? You know, children are very adventurous. All of them said, no, I don't want to go. My mommy is not going, my daddy is not going. I'm not going. Nobody wants to go alone to such places. And these people, the Moabites, they have been cursed. In the book of Deuteronomy 23, 4 to 7, sorry, 3 to 4, Deuteronomy 23, 3 to 4, the Bible says, and Ammonites and Moabites shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. There was embargo on them that they don't belong to God. They are not to be in the church. We are not supposed to associate with them. And this lady is saying, I want to go with you. My mother-in-law, I want to go with you. We all know the rest of the story. She became one of the, one of the women, one of the five women that came or that, through the lineage of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go and check your Bible. Her name is in Matthew. So her lifting was just not ordinary lifting. Because they are lifting, they are lifting. The Bible talks about glory, that glory differs. So also lifting too. There are some lifting is just from one level here to another step. Another one to another one. Our own level, our own level of lifting. Brethren, till eternal. Our Lord Jesus Christ came through her lineage. And I pray that that will be your portion in Jesus' name. That the lifting that you will experience, that it will last you till you see Jesus in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. We need to learn some lessons from her. That is where we are going to dwell this morning. We need to learn what did she do? What are the things, the qualities? What are the things that you can see and say, oh, indeed, this lady deserves to be lifted. Number one, because of her time, she surrendered her life to the God of Naomi. Totally, brethren, she surrendered. Where you die, I will die. Where you go, your God will be my God. She surrendered. Brethren, she did not put one leg in and another one out. So for us to experience this lifting, there is need for us to give it up to God. Totally, brethren, put everything in Christ. A life outside Christ is crisis. There is no way that is secure right now than the presence of God. She put everything. She locked all the doors. She turned her back to Opa. Opa went back and she continued back to back. That is what we are meant to be doing. We have left the world. The world must leave us. We know the song, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back, no turning back. She said, where you die? Ah, ah. How many of us, when we're coming to America, would tell our families and say, I'm going home. Guess what? I'm not coming back again. 
I'm going to be buried in America. I will die there. That will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. But what they tell us is you will go and you will come back. You will come with spoils. They will pray for us. Ah, you will bring everything that is the good things in America. You will bring it home. You will build houses. But this woman, she locked all the doors. She said, I'm not coming back. Brethren, that is what we are meant to be doing. When we give our life to Christ, we shut all the doors. We turn our back to the world completely. Not one leg in, one leg out. Not call, having a pastor in redeemed, an Abdora pastor in white garments. And I tell people in my church, anytime anybody asks you, go and bring cow or bring a ram or bring whatever, that we need a sacrifice, tell them it is a lie. There is no other sacrifice than that that Jesus gave us. The Bible says in the book of Romans, Hebrews 9, 12, Hebrews 9, 12, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. I tell you today, a sign of a fake person, I don't want to call them a prophet, is when somebody tells you to go and bring this for the problem. You don't need any shedding of blood again. Jesus did it openly. That was why he didn't do it in the underground or in the house. No, he came out to show the world up there. You don't need any other animal hang for you. Jesus did it one time. The Bible says in Romans 10 and 11, it says, For with the heart man believeth and righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Whosoever believed on him, shall not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, this lady believed in the God of Naomi and she was not put to shame. You will not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. So let us learn this from her. If we have given our life to Christ, let us give it to him completely. Put everything inside your legs and your hands in Christ and the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And he will lift us up in the mighty name of Jesus. The second thing that she did, she loved her mother-in-law. Read the story when you get home. How many women today, your husband is dead, your two sons are dead. Ah, we will check you out. Ah, we will check you out. We need to check that mama out. What is wrong with you? Huh? You, you didn't only kill your husband alone, you killed my own husband too. But instead, she showed love. Brethren, when people are down, that is not when we make their problem worse. No. That is when they need lifting. That is when they need love. Somebody talked about love. Maybe it was a prayer this morning about love. Yes, this is that I prayed for us. We need to love, brethren. We need to love one another. Love should be in the church of God because our God is love. But today it is lacking. I pray that the Lord will restore back in Jesus' name. Amen. John 4, 7 to 12, 7 and 12. John chapter 4, 1 John 4, 7 and 12 says, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us and his love is perfected in us. I know, the lady also said it this morning, that love is not easy. Brethren, to love your lovable, but we have to, we just have to love. It is God. The name of God is the love. So for us to be lifted, to experience, to enjoy lifting, we need to have love, the love of God. And I pray that the Lord will give to us in the mighty name of Jesus. The love for the elderly ones. I used to tell them stories, this story in my church. This family, their grandma became whole God, I mean, an old grandmother. And the children said, Daddy, grandma looks ugly. <laughs> you know, some grandma, when there is no more teeth, when the legs are shaking. Ah, oh, I say, my God, have mercy. Brethren, grandma too have been a baby before. There was a time grandma was a baby. There was a time grandma was a young teenager, you know? And there was a time grandma became 
young woman, beautiful, radiating, going around, doing everything. And all of a sudden, age has come. And now grandma is now looking up and saying, Daddy, hey, mama's face is not attractive. And the, the father said, okay, don't worry. Because mama's face is uh, scary. We'll take mama to the BQ. That is the boys' quarter. They, they now put mama back at the back of the house. I said, ah, it will not be too long that daddy too will be old. <laughs> and daddy too will become grandpa. And grandpa too will look, ah, you know, for men, their own is even like that. <laughs> that grandpa will not look like, you know. Let us treat our elderly ones with love. They were once like us. And if the Lord tarries, we will also go on that journey. Oh. We will go on that journey. All those our this thing that we put in that makes us look beautiful. The time is coming. They will put it beside us. They will just put it somewhere. John. I can't use it again. <laughs> the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Let us show them love. They need our love at that age. They need our love because they don't have too many friends anymore. We now become their friends. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Taking care of the elderly ones is very, very important. The third one is she was loyal. Very loyal to the woman. To the God of the woman. Even Boaz testified to it. In Ruth chapter 2 verse 11. Ruth 2 11. He said, and Bible says, And Boaz answered and said unto her, It hath fully been shewed me, all that thou hast done unto thy mother-in-law since the death of thine husband, and how thou hast left thy father and thy mother and the land of thy nativity, and had come unto a people which thou knowest not thereof. She was loyal to the woman. Not because her husband is no more, and that means she will now turn her back. No. Your God will be my God. Where you die, there will I die. Brethren, that is what loyalty does. It bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes in all things. Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13, 7, 1 Corinthians 13, 7, it says, bearing all things, believing all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. We need to be loyal to God, loyal to our pastor, to the vision of this church. The pastor tells us we are going this way. Let us believe it and follow. That is loyalty, brethren. Not, ah, hello. Pastor said there's evangelism today, tomorrow, Saturday night. Are you going? I don't know. Uh -huh. Me, I don't think I'm going. Ah, me, I'm not going. And you're coming. I'm not coming. I'm going. I'm not going. Ah, pastor said you're doing this. Are you doing it? Me, I don't, me, I don't want to do it. Though. Where are you? Ah, if you're not doing it, I'm not doing it. Ah, remember? Opa turned her back. Naomi also did what? Turned her back. You are alone on this journey. Christian journey and the church, the church, journey in the church, it is a personal journey. When I see people doing follow, follow, I say, oh my God, they don't have understanding. In the church? No way. We all saw the, movie, uh, the show, the, uh, the drama. Different people in the church. Please, from today, you're on your own. It is a journey, a personal journey. Loyal to the vision. We are going this way. Yes, sir. Before the man of God will stand up and announce it, he has prayed. He has prayed. And God has told him, go ahead. So when he's saying it, brethren, we all run into it. Even if you don't have the strength, the capacity, you pray to God and say, God, I want to be a part of this because my pastor has spoken. I pray that the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Proverbs 13, 24. Proverbs 18, sorry, 18, 24 says, A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. There is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Brethren, who am I? Can I be trusted? When I turn my back, can you still hold forth for me? These are things that we need in our lives to be lifted. And the Lord will lift us up in Jesus' name. Amen. The fourth one, she had strong faith in God. Strong faith. Brethren, say strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith. We need to have faith in God. That whatever happens, I'm standing for God. 
Whatever happens, no matter the shaking, I will stand for God. And the Lord will give you the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. In the book of Ruth, same Ruth, chapter 2, verse 2, the Bible says, And Ruth, the Mobites, said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field and glean ears of corn after him, in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter-in-law. Chapter 2, brethren. They got to the land, chapter 1. I want to say the following morning, she woke up and said, Mama, we have to eat. We came last night or we came in the morning yesterday. Let me go out and walk. Let me go and search for food. Let me go out and do something. In a place where she has never been before, it takes faith. Someone else will sit down. She said, I will go. Brethren, faith is a verb. It is a doing. A doing that people must see. So when we say we have faith, we must put action to it. We must arise and begin to do for God. She was not a lazy person. Not a bench woman. Someone else will say, ah, this is not my land. Eh? I will just sleep, mama. Go and call your relatives. Press your bell for connection. Instead of that, she said, mama, stay. I will go out. She was going out in faith. Because she said, she mentioned the word grace, that God will give me grace. I will find grace. She was going out with full assurance that she will not come back empty-handed. That grace of God will pave way for her. Brethren, this is our house. This place is our house. It's our field. It's a place where every hand must be on deck. We cannot be in this house and not be doing anything. No. We have to go for God. We have to be doing for God. She said, I will go to the field to go and work. Service. What she was doing was she was going out for service. Brethren, there is a rewarder. I tell you, there is no employer that can pay like God. It has not been found. No employer under heaven that can pay like God. None. They may give you life insurance, but you don't have, you don't, no, they cannot guarantee you that life. They may give you health insurance, but what about the health? They may even give you house allowance. It takes God to dwell in that house with you. The, 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 oh Lord, the benefit that God gives to us is just unfortunate that we don't pay attention to them. The things that God is doing, and yet, we don't see anything. Hmm. The Lord will have mercy on us in Amen. Jesus' name. She had faith in God. And she went out to walk, to serve. We need to serve, brethren. In the place of service, there is reward. Because God is a recorder and also a rewarder. As he's recording what we are doing, he's also rewarding. And you may have been doing it and say, oh, what have I gotten? Nothing. I've been in a worker for how many years? Brethren, wait for your day of reward. There is a day of reward. And your reward will not elude you in Jesus' name. As many as have been serving, continue serving. You are serving the one that has the reward. The Bible says to every labor there is a reward. Proverbs 14.23. Proverbs 14.23. It says in all labor there is profit. There is profit in all labor. Please, there is nobody that can pay like God. And the Lord will pay us in Jesus' name. Most of us have faith in the things of this world. We have faith even on the chair that we are sitting on, right? Because if you don't have faith, you won't sit on it. We have faith. We have faith. When we go to the gas station and you hold that nozzle and you put it inside your tank, and it's in the tongue, what do you believe? You believe your tank is... And then you remove it. Who tells you? How did you know? You have faith. Our bank account. You go to bank with all swag that you put money there. Like I have money in the bank. You have faith. Anything can happen. We have faith, brethren. But when it comes to God, we don't believe him. We don't believe this word. This Bible. We don't believe it. 
We have faith in everything. In our husbands. Somebody told me one day, as long as my husband is living, I know I'm secured. She has faith. That's her own story. We have faith. Some of us, we have faith in our parents that know my mommy, I trust her. What about God? When COVID-19 came, it showed us who is who. So COVID-19 was a test for every believer to know where you stand. And I tell people, grade yourself. You know yourself. You just grade yourself. Where did I stand? We trust everything. CDC, we believe them. We will do everything according to. But when it comes to doing according to the word of God, pay your tithe. No, we don't believe it. That is when we have uh, group A, group B, thank you, sir, parties. Why? When CDC were giving us guidelines, we were following their guidelines per second, per second. But when God gives us guidelines, what do we do? I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us please, for us to have this experience, I pray that the Lord will give us the grace Amen. to believe the word of God. If God says you are lifted, you are lifted. Amen. It's not that when you leave this program, you ask your neighbor, eh, what did they say that, he, that you are going to do, that God is going to do for us? Ah, no, no. You must be sure of what you have received. That you are coming back next year with testimonies in the name of Jesus. That you are coming next year lifted in the name of Jesus. In whatever area you are trusting God for, you are coming back lifted in the name of Jesus. I want to read to us another scripture in the book of Mark 10. Mark chapter 10, 28 to 30. It says, Then Peter began to say unto them, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mothers, or wives, or children, or lands, for my sake, and the gospel's sake. But he shall receive an hundredfold, now in this time, houses, brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. Brethren, there is eternal life. I know there are a lot of stories right now, and I know that people are forgetting that we are strangers here. No matter how much Macy's looks beautiful, or Nimamakos, or name them. Nonstrom, ah, thank you, sir. <laughs> Nonstrom, the AC and the everything, the beautiful clothes. You have to leave the place. If you don't leave, they will lock you inside. They won't even lock you, they will pull you out. So also, this world, brethren, all the beauty, one day, we will leave. It's just for a while. This is a place that we have come to shop, we have come to trade. We have, so many people have come for different reasons, for different purposes. Our Father in the Lord, for those that have not read Open Heaven today, please read Open Heaven today. Please, we read Open Heaven every day. It's very good, it's very powerful. It's like you're having fellowship with Daddy Gio every morning. Please, start reading Open Heaven. You will enjoy it. He talked about honorable workman, honorable, like service. We need to serve because we are not going to be here forever. We are living. Peter said, what is in for us? And Jesus gave everything. He said, even in eternal life, where we will spend our eternity, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. The last one is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. We need to have him, brethren. There is no how we can walk this Christian journey without the Holy Spirit. The reason why many people are struggling today is because they don't have the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, you will not struggle. Listen to what Boaz said about this woman. In Ruth 2, chapter 2, 19 to 20. Ruth chapter 2, verse 19 to 20. And her mother-in-law, so, sorry, her mother-in-law. And her mother-in-law said unto her, where hast thou glanced today? And where rothest thou? Blessed be he that did take knowledge of thee. And she shewed her mother-in-law with whom she had wrought, and said, The man's name with whom I wrought today is Boaz. 
And Naomi said unto her mother-in-law, Blessed be he of the Lord, who had not left off his kindness to the living and to the dead. And Naomi said unto her, The man is near of kin unto us, one of our next kinsmen. This woman had no clue about Boaz being a family member. She was just led by the Holy Spirit. She just went to one field. And that field happens to be the field of a family member. Brother, when you have the Holy Spirit in you, he will lead you to your place of lifting. The Holy Spirit will direct your path. The Holy Spirit will tell you what to do. He will guide you. He will tell you everything about yourself. Romans 8, 11. Romans 8, 11 says, But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you. He that raised up Jesus from the dead also shall quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. We need the Holy Spirit. I want you to say this. I need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. To be lifted, I need the Holy Spirit. Brethren, we need him. We cannot do anything without the Holy Spirit. Mm -mm. Anything. We can't even pray. The Bible says we don't know how to pray. In the book of Romans chapter 8, it says the Holy Spirit of God maketh intercession for us with groanings that cannot be altered. So we don't know what to pray for. But when we have the Holy Spirit, he will lead us, he will direct us. We need the Holy Spirit. Because right now, brethren, we know it or not, we have entered into another level in the world. You know when a plane wants to take off or take to fly, there will be this kind of shaking and then after a while, you stabilize and then you go. And when you are coming again, you get a shaking. Brethren, last year was a shaking for us to know that there's a shifting. How many years will we use on that shifting before Jesus will come? I don't know. But it only tells us to what? To be prepared. Be prepared for our Lord Jesus Christ. Because we cannot do anything brethren, without the Holy Spirit. And I pray that the Holy Spirit of God will keep us all in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Isaiah 30 verse 20, Isaiah 30 verse 21, he says, And their ears shall hear a word behind the saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. That was the voice that the lady heard, Ruth. And that was why she entered into a family member's field. I pray that from today, the Holy Spirit will begin to direct us. He will guide us. He will lead us. He will not leave us alone. He will tell us when to talk. He will tell us when to be quiet. He will tell us how to pray. He will teach us all things in the mighty name of Jesus. In conclusion, when there is a lifting, brethren, there will always be a rejoicing, celebration. Look at everyone that was lifted in the Bible. The next thing they experience is celebration, rejoicing. Even the scripture that we read, that scripture that we read, verse 3 says, And he had put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall hear it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. That will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus. What the Lord will do for you. That suddenly, you will just be singing. You will be running up and down in your house. Because your lifting has come. In the mighty name of Jesus. After David killed Goliath, the women in the town, and they gathered. They began to sing and to dance. Saul so killed a thousand, but David killed 10,000. Always celebration. Anna sang songs after the Lord blessed her. Many people in the Bible, after lifting, there is always celebration. I pray that your celebration will not elude you. In the mighty name of Jesus, as the Lord liveth, men and women will rejoice with you. When Elizabeth gave birth, ah, the Bible says our neighbors, they said, wow. God has shown a great mercy. The Lord will show you great mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to that of our uh, Naomi's neighbors. 
in the book of Ruth chapter 4, 13 to 15. Ruth 4, 13 to 15. So Boaz took Ruth and said, unto, so, sorry, and, she's, and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave conception and she bare a son. And the women said unto Naomi, they will say it unto you, brethren, blessed be the Lord which had not left thee this day without a king's man. This, that this name may be famous in Israel. Verse 15. And he said unto thee, a, uh, sorry, and, and he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life and a nourisher of thine old age. That for, for thy daughters, for the daughter-in-law, which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons had born him. Brethren, look at, neighbors will come and celebrate with you. Even people that doesn't like you, people that don't, don't greet, people that you don't even know, they will hear your testimony and give you a phone call. That we heard your testimony. That will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. You will celebrate. You will sing songs in the name of Jesus. Psalm 30 verse 4 to 5. I just want to assure you that celebration awaits you. Psalm 34 to 5 says, Sing unto the Lord, all ye saints of his. Give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but for a moment. And in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. Your joy is on your way. In the name of Jesus. No matter how it may be. Remember the scripture that we started with. He said, he brought me out from a merry clay. I don't know where you are. But God knows, and the one that knows has the capacity, has everything it takes to bring you out. And for this season, you are coming out. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are lifted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let us rise up on our feet. If you are clapping for me, it's too much. But if you are clapping for the one that can lift, that has lifted you, please give it to him. Give it to him that, Father, we thank you, Lord, for lifting us, Lord. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, let us go before the Lord with thanksgiving. Let us just go ahead and thank the almighty God. We just want to pray a few prayers and I'll round it up. Let us just thank the almighty God, brethren. I want you to thank God. You have heard the word. I want you to bless the Lord and say, Father, I want to thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh Lord, because my eyes have been opened, O oh God, to see that you are able, you are more than able. And what I need to do, O oh God, what I need, O oh Lord, to position myself for this lifting has been made known to me. Father, I thank you. I give you all the praise, Lord. I honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I want you to pray this morning and say, Father, lift me for your glory. It's a personal prayer, brethren. Let us pray. If you don't need it, you can pray for me. My name is Oluwa Toin, but I must see. The Father, Lord, lift up this woman for your glory. I want you to talk to God. We have just a few more minutes. The Father, lift me, oh God. You are the only one that can lift a man, oh God. Daddy, you are the only one that when you lift, oh God, you lift into glory. Daddy, you lift, oh God, for your own glory. Daddy, lift me, oh Lord. Lift my family. Lift my children, oh God. Lift my husband. Lift my wife. Daddy, lift my mother. Lift my father. Lift us, oh God. You are the lifter up of our heads. Uh. Daddy, lift us. Uh. You have everything that it takes. You know where we need lifting. You know where I need lifting, oh God. Daddy, lift us, oh Lord. Daddy, we want to change level. We want to change position. We need a transformation. We need a change, oh God. Jehovah, Lord, lift us, oh God. Maseteri anderi mashanda yaraba. Maserebo shanda yaraba. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I received a word for someone, and it happens to be the first thing I put on my iPad. Last night, 12.56 p.m. Uh, sorry, 12.56 a.m. Bible says, uh, sorry, the word says that the story will end in glory. I don't know what the story is. It says, but it will end in glory. That is what I have in my number one. I just keep it because of the joy. 
He says that it will end in glory. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what is before you, the challenge. But as I was putting it together last night, I just got a drop in my spirit that tells them that that story, it will end in glory. It will end with joy. So I'm here this morning to tell you that whatever you are going through, write it down today. It will end in joy. I don't know. It may be a court case. It, may, it will end in joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even it may be medical report, it will end in joy. Because there is a God that is able to turn things around. The one that can reverse the irreversible. He will turn it for good. He will turn it for his glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray and say, Father, for me, O oh Lord, I will end in joy. I and my family, we will end in joy. Let us go and begin to pray. We will end in glory. That it will end up, oh Lord, in glory, in joy. In the name of Jesus. It shall turn, oh Lord, shall be an occasion for testimony. It shall be occasion for testimony. This year's theme, oh God, lifted for his glory, will be occasion for my testimony. Occasion for my celebration. Occasion, oh God, that he, for glory to God. Occasion, oh God, for men and women. To gather with me to celebrate in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to pray for this church. The Bible says, I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Brethren, when you are praying for the church, you are praying for yourself. I want us to pray and say, Father, build this church, O oh God. According to your word, build this church, O oh God. I don't know that area, but God, build this church, O oh Lord. Let us begin to pray. Daddy, build an amazing assembly, O oh Lord. Amazing chapel, O oh God. Daddy, build your church, O oh God. Let, don't let the gates of hell prevail over your church. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray and say, Father, protect your interest, O oh God. Defend your interest over this church uh, in the name of Jesus. Defend your interest, oh God, over this church, oh God. That we fight every battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, arise, oh God, for assembly, for amazing chapel in the name of Jesus. Arise, oh God, let every activity of hell be destroyed. Over this church, let every activity of hell be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Oh, my shadow, yada, ba, 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 ba. Holy Spirit of God, take over all the activities of your church. Take over, take over. Every activity of this church, Holy Spirit of God, rule and reign in the name of Jesus. Glorify yourself, O oh Lord. Daddy, uphold this church, O oh God. Uphold this church, O oh Lord. Draw men and women. Daddy, draw men and women. Bring families, O oh God. Bring families, O oh God. Let this church experience lifting. Let this church also experience lifting in the name of Jesus. Let men and women find refuge in this church, O oh Lord. Let miracles, O oh God, testimonies, O oh Lord, that let it be a regular routine in this church in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want this last scripture on the screen. It's the last scripture, and we are praying with it. On the screen. Esther chapter 9 verse 22. Esther 9 2. You will pray it with understanding. It's so loaded that you have to pick your own there. Esther chapter 9 verse 22 it says, are we ready? Let us all read together please. One to go. As the days wherein the Jews rested from their enemies and the month which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy. And from morning into a good day, that they should make them days of feast and feasting and joy, and of sending portion one to another and gifts to the poor. I want you to pray that Father Lord, let it be my day, my good day. Let good day come for me, O oh Lord. Let good day come for my family. Let sorrow turn to joy for me. We are talking about lifting and about change. Let there be a change, O oh God. 
Let there be a change for good. Let this month be a good month to me, O oh Lord. Let this month be a good month to my children. Let this month be a good month, O oh Lord, to my family. O oh Lord, that changes time and season. You are the God that changes time and season. That it change this time for me, O oh Lord. That it change this season for me, O oh Lord. Let it be a good day for me. Thank you, only one of Israel. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you. Daddy, we bless your holy name for that which you have begun, O oh God. Thank you for what you did on Friday on the prayer line. Thank you for what you did among your children yesterday. The Bible says that how blessed it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. They went out together in love, O oh God. And you dwelt among them. Daddy, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for the love shared abroad in your hearts, oh God. The love of God, oh God, in smiling, in hugging, in pushing, in drawing, in pulling. Daddy, in cuddling, oh God. Daddy, we say thank you, Father. Accept our thanks, Lord, in the name of Jesus. For all that you have started, oh Lord, this morning, oh God. In every area, oh Lord. Daddy, we say thank you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, our eyes are on you. And your word will never fail. That which you have proposed to do. Do for us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Let there be lifting, O oh God. Let the barren be lifted, O oh God. Let the sick be lifted, O oh God. The unemployed be lifted, oh God. That the anyone that has issues over their children, let them be lifted, oh God. In every area in finances, let us be lifted, oh God. Anyone that has court case, let them be lifted, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are the only one that can lift. Lift us for your glory. Lift us for your glory. And by your grace, we'll promise we'll come back to give you the glory. That no one will share the glory with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout glory to God. I don't know if you are still going to have Thanksgiving. Are you going to have Thanksgiving? The women. Please, I want you to dance better. I want you, and you, know, I want you to dance better. Dance this time with understanding. Rababa and Komole. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. All the amazing women in the house. Pray, 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, let us stretch our hands towards our mom. Let's pray for her, that God should increase her in every area. That God should increase her. Let's begin to pray for her. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Offering time. Our voice so low. Offering time. Blessing time. Okay. Let's bring us our offering. Uh, let's open our Bible to uh, Luke six thirty eight. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaking together and running over. Shall men give into your bosom? For with the same measure that ye met with all, it shall be measured to you again. So let's give God something tangible. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are here to give you the token out of what you've given unto us. Father, let our gift be acceptable in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, as we, give, as we are going to give to you, Father, come and bless us in every area in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord as we offer, as we offer unto thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving as we offer unto
this kind God, oh. Let us be a holy name. This kind God, this kind God, Amen. I'll never see your side, oh. This kind God, oh. Amen. Let us be a holy name. Amen. Amen. All the women, please dance forward for your Thanksgiving and presentation of gifts. Amen. This kind God do. I never see your side do. This kind God do. Let us be a holy name. This kind God. This kind God do.
somebody to present your gift to the church and then I'll pray with you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We ascribe all greatness to the most high God for what he has done in our midst. We give him all the glory and in appreciation of his greatness in our lives, we present this gift to the church and we pray that it will be used for the expansion of his work on earth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, so that those who are watching online would know, and those of us in church, the woman bought this beautiful pulpit for the church. <laughs> and my prayer is that God will continue to increase you. God will multiply you. Amen. Your pulse will not run dry. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will buy buses for God. Amen. You will build churches for God. Amen. You will build orphanages. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will lift you up to become treasurers. In his house, in the name of Jesus. He will entrust even gold in your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. That's part one. Don't go here too. As mommy was, uh, let's put our hands together for that wonderful message. Wow. Your message already suits my belly. Amen. And you still say a word of prayer for one minute before you leave, huh? I thought pastor will be with us this year. Hopefully he will still be with us. But I know that grace is transferable. I'm sure ministers have heard the story of your church from me. And they are probably tired of hearing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Mommy is from Goshen Parish in Annapolis. And like I've, um, like I've told many of us before, I think beginning of last year, well, two years now, time runs fast. Beginning of the year, the landlord or landlady was harassing you and giving all kinds of stories. And in about four months after the harassment started, the same landlord came and sold the place for how many dollars? One dollar. So she will pray for us as we are also trying to get a place because grace is contagious. Uh, but before she comes, I want to just pray for you women and um, God will help me because I'm used to praying from my heart. But I want to pray some things from what she shared with us. And I want your amen to be loud. We'll be out of here in 10 minutes maximum, hopefully. Uh, if the announcement does not take time. And the sharing of the token. And we bless that provision in Jesus' name. And we eat to health in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Again, women, I thank God for your life. Just like the last song you sang, it says, Titi Lope wa Lodore, Enokpe Yunika. Your joy will not be turned to sorrow. Between now and your next anniversary program, you will not have cause to weep. You will not have cause to mourn. In the mighty name of Jesus. One of your songs earlier on, you sang that you are thanking God for being counted worthy. I pray no matter what happens in the world, no matter the buildings that we collapse, no matter how many stray bullets, no matter the nature of the sickness, it will not come near you in the name of Jesus. You will be counted worthy to see many, many more years, to see many, many more decades in good health. In the name of Jesus. Our mommy talked about the man by the beautiful gates. She was the, the man was there for a long time. But a day came, that long-standing problem came to an end. 
every long-standing problem. I pray an end comes in the name of Jesus. We were reminded that that man received strength in his bone. I pray receive strength. Strength to prosper. Strength to overcome. Strength to do valiantly. Strength to do exploits. Strength to help in the home. Strength to be useful in the church. Strength to be useful in your families. Strength to be useful in the community. Receive in the name of Jesus. She spoke about the paralytic man. That man said he had no body. I've told you often, you can have people around you and still be lonely. I pray you will not be lonely. In the name of Jesus. Bible said concerning David, he said he was helped daily. I pray, may you receive daily help. In the name of Jesus, you will not be left alone. You will not lack helpers. In the name of Jesus, the man told Jesus, he said, before I step into the waters, somebody has guessed there before me. In other words, the man was arriving late. Ah, where there is goodness. Where there is testimony, where there is lifting, where there is glory, you will not arrive late in the name of Jesus. When next you arrive at the place of promotion, you will never be told that you come yesterday. In the name of Jesus, may grace make you arrive on time. In the name of Jesus, may your lives fall in pleasant places. In the mighty name of Jesus, that which you will do, that step that will lead, lead, lead you to glory, like Ruth was led, may you be led in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 30 says, we will hear a voice behind us saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Ah, the Spirit of God will guide you away from evil. We guide you away from shame. Rather, it will guide you into your lifting. In the name of Jesus. Grace to surrender to God. May it come upon you in the name of Jesus. In Genesis chapter 21 verse 16. Agas, Bible says, Agas stood afar. And said, let me not see the death of the child. I pray for you, woman. You will not see the death of your children. I say, you will not see the death of your children. As you go into this new year, may you not see the death of your husbands. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. When Ruth was going out that day, like we have been told, she said she's going in the grace of the Lord. I pray, may you go in God's grace. And may the grace raise you. In the name of Jesus. When Boaz saw Ruth, she was, he was pleased with her. Just like Esther. The Bible says Esther showed up. And as the king cited Esther, he had favor upon her. When next you show up, people will have favor for you. I say you will be favored. When next destiny ever cites you, they just need to see you. They will favor you. In the name of Jesus. Ruth went out. She did not come back empty. You will come back next year full. In the name of Jesus, you will not lack testimony. Your life will not lack good things. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in all labor there is profit. I pray as you go henceforth, for every effort, there shall be profit. In the name of Jesus. I command the law of productivity for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And just like God's servant has told us, she said, that story will end in glory. I pray, whatever thing is happening, I pray, Lord, ah, that it shall end in glory. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what your current condition is. Ah, all those conditions that are not palatable, that is not what you want. Ah, it shall not turn to become your permanent condition. In the name of Jesus, for in your lives God will have the final say. You are lifted. In the name of Jesus, go forth and shine. 
In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Just go back to your seats. I am lifted. Like the blood out of sin and sorrow into the presence of the Lord. Between me and Sister Victoria, who sang better? Or me and Sister Fumi. Sister Fumi, we got to talk after service. So you can sing like this. Please, take a solar inka. Let her know how many weeks she's singing nonstop. And that means she will come for practice and she'll be at workers' meeting on time. Praise the Lord. Before I yield the microphone for announcement and benediction, uh, we have these angers, the angers, the ushers we share with us if you have interest. But one of the things we've been told is to be useful to God. So you can put it on the doorknobs of your neighbors. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, women, once again. So we are so happy for this day that the Lord has made, and it was such a beautiful program. I want to bless God for all the ladies who came out, all the people who came out today to serve God. We pray that you will continue with that grace upon us in Jesus' name. So this is our service. Um, remains the same. And Tuesday intercessory prayer is from 7 to 8 p.m. We're looking forward to having more people on the program um, for the intercessory prayer. On the prayer line, the number is 270-230-0392. Wednesday prayers are the same. The prayer line is from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. also. Thursday, the Bible study is from 7 to 8 p.m. on Zoom, and the number is on the WhatsApp platform. Um, Sunday service is 10 a.m., both online and on site. The baptismal candidates are requested to wait briefly after service today. Don't forget our building funds. Um, that's important. This is not our building. And if we love God and we love the church and we love the presentation of the pastor and the food that we are getting fed here, we would put towards the building um, funds. You know, we take monies and we buy food and we just end up in the toilet. So we're going to take that monies, extra monies, and put it towards a little dollar. If it's anything you have, put it. It will help build for the building um, funds so that we can move out of here by next year. All right? And so we welcome all the new people. If there is anyone who had came here for the first time, can you please um, stand up so that they could recognize you? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We welcome you in our service. Amazing grace, and we hope that you had an amazing time. We pray that this would not be the last time of your visit, that you'll come again, that you'll bring a friend, that you'll tell someone of the good news that's going on in this church, and that you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, I think the choir is going to sing a song to welcome you at this time. Verily, 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 the Lord said to me, Verily, 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 the, the Lord, Lord said to me, You shall be great, you shall be well, 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 you shall be um, the time is fast spent, so I'm just going to give a little prayers and um, bless God for this day. Heavenly Father, we thank thee, dear Lord, for your love. We thank thee, dear Lord, for lifting us up of that miry clay and setting our feet on rock to stay. 
We pray, dear God, as you lift us up, O oh Lord, Father, that we would lift someone else up. We would not be selfish, O oh God, Father, but we would be selfless. Let us remember those who are less fortunate than us, O oh God, Father. Let us remember those in the prison, O oh Lord, some are innocent and some are guilty. We pray that they will find salvation, O oh Lord, Father. We pray for their freedom, O oh Lord, Father. We bless God for all you've done for us and what you're doing for us, O oh Lord. Father, dear God, keep us safe in America, O oh Lord, Father. And let us be light, O oh Lord, as we walk the streets, as we in our jobs, O oh Lord, Father. And wherever we are, let us be a light in America, O oh Lord, Father. So that we will make a difference, O oh Lord, Father. And dear God, your name will be glorified. Let us use our gifts wisely, O oh Lord, Father. Each and every one have a gift, O oh Lord. And let us use it wisely for your purpose, O oh Lord, Father. Let us not be wasteless Christians, O oh Lord, Father. Let us not fall in error, O oh Lord, Father. And let no one put an obstacle or stumbling block in our path to cause us to fall. Father, dear God, from this day forth, cover us under your precious blood and shine your light of glory in us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 The grace. You want to see the grace? Okay. I want to appreciate everybody that have come to, um, to grace our occasion today. I'm only in the Lord. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Hope to see more of you, man. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Shall we all rise up on our feet? We are about to close. I just want to pray this scripture. Let us close our eyes. I want us to pray from the book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 7. The Bible says, And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and waxed exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you once again. Daddy, we thank you because you are the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end. We thank you, O oh God, for all that you have done in this house today. We thank you for Johnny Mercies. We thank you for grace. Daddy, we thank you for joy. We thank you for celebration. We thank you for direction. We thank you for leading. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you for your touch, O oh Lord, for your wind. We thank you for your sent word. Daddy, we thank you for answered prayers. We thank you for prophetic utterances. Daddy, we thank you for prayers. Daddy, accept our thanks, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we pray this afternoon, O oh God, that your blessings will rest upon this house. In the mighty name of Jesus. What you do for one, you do for many. Jehovah, Lord, what you did in Goshen, Jehovah, we pray. In Chapel of Grace, Daddy, do it again. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible records, O oh God, that Jesus showed up again. Father, Lord, I pray that in, in, sorry, in um, amazing grace, that is show up again, Lord. That is show up again in the mighty name of Jesus. That is bring helpers of destinies in the name of Jesus. Open our eyes to where you are prepared for us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive the land, O oh God, the property, O oh God, with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let us share the grace and fellowship of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. We shall be faithful in the land. Amen. Bless me and keep me. The Lord make his face to shine upon me and gracious unto me. The Lord turn the face toward me and give me peace.